welcome to TWF Friday Night Smackdown. I am Michael Cole, here with Eloith and with Corey Gray. And today on Friday Night Smackdown, we're going to see Batman and the Joker again. Why? Because Batman said he wanted to have the fight with the Joker, since the Joker beat him by track out, but Batman beat him again. And Joker wants to believe that that was... In his mind, he believes that if he got that, that there was anyone he could get the win over, it would be Batman, Michael Cole says. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Lois says, if he actually believes in his mind that Batman's the only one he can get a win over, then he must not be right in the head if he believes that. Well, also, you know, Corey Graves said, that just could be a mind game, you know, him making you think that he's not right in the head. He does got a track out win over Batman or Wildermouse Man or whatever you want to call him. He can probably do it again. And I'll be happy if that does happen. Well, here he is. So, Joker, you've been telling everyone you think I'm the smooth man to beat. You've been telling everyone that you could smoothly beat me with uh, no hang-up. But I'm here to tell you that shit, and you know it. All right? Now, I know Astronomer's not here today. But I know actually Williams is. So I'm going to ask you, ask him to come out, and he can get me to fight. Yeah, I am the matchmaker again, Batman. And yes, it's true, Astronomer's not here today. The days that Xena has to make her films are the days she's not going to be here. Though happen to be the shorter TWF films. Yeah, I heard the Joker. I heard he started talking shit about how he thinks you were the smoothest one to beat. And how in his mind he thinks if he's going to get a win over anyone, he believes... It's going to be you. But I don't believe that. So today, here on Friday Night Smackdown, you can fight the Joker again. Now I got to hang up with Roman Reigns I got to take care of. So thank you. Well, we just heard it from Ashley Williams. Once again, the matchmaker of the TWF again, Michael Cole says. Making a fight you know, for Batman, who's waiting for the Joker. Do you know where the Joker's at? No, could be one of those dumb mind games he likes to play on folks so much. You know, oh! And the Joker just beat up Batman from behind, struck Batman or Wildermouse Man from behind, Michael Cole said. Well, I told you I said, hello, he says, one of those bullshit mind games that the Joker is all good about, you know. Don't let him fool you. Being dressed like a clown, he only does that to make folks think he's not right in the head, but he knows what he's doing, Lois said. Yeah, he does know what he's doing, Corey Graves says. He's actually very, he's truly wise. He wants folks to think that he's, uh, that he's not, so, he wants then if he's so wise, well, I don't know, but he is so wise. He wants to throw folks off. That's why he does the, that's why he does being a clown, I believe. Well, if he's so wise, Michael Cole says, why would he choose a life of evil? Why would he choose to do wrong to others? Why would he even choose this shit? I don't know. Oh. Well, Lois said, it's like asking Kalistra why she does the shit she does. There wasn't really a good answer, and I don't think Joker's going to give you a good answer either. But Batman getting back up now, and the Joker thinks that, that, put everything under run here. Oh, body slam. Batman with the, with the choke slam, or with the squeeze slam, I guess. It's done here. One. Okay, yeah, we'll do it together. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, Batman. Well, uh-oh. 
Jey Uso. Oh, Jey Uso just taking out Batman. And he's also taking he took out also took out the Joker too. And this is not good. And Jey Uso and now Roman Reigns get up. And now get the fuck up. And now bear on a Batman. Bear on the Joker. Alright. Get them all out of here. Uh. Uh. All right. Uh. Uh. So I can't. I'm hung up. Ashley Williams, we need to talk. Since it seems that you shamed me and you didn't show me any onlook. You know, you know, I'm the kin leader. You know, I'm the world heavyweight winner. And you don't show me any onlook. See, I thought that my near kin Jey Uso you know I thought that need be he you know would um I thought he'd take you out Ashley Williams but it don't look like he did you know so and what happened to Batman and Joker whatever I don't give a fuck they were in the wrong stead at the wrong time. That's what happened to them. Wrong stead, wrong time. You know, when folks shame me, when folks shame me, and they don't give me the on look that I want, I take it out on them. All right, that's what I do. So, Ashley Williams, you beat Jey Uso here. How the fuck did that happen, Jay? Do you know? It's so like this, Roman. I don't know what happened. I thought I had him beat. I thought I had, you know, I thought I had everything under run. But at the end of the day, I don't know what happened. That he's telling the truth, Roman. He doesn't know what happened. I was there. All I know is is that uh, I get stunned by Ashley Williams. So do you. And it's a mostly more Jay's mistake than yours to actually to actually lose the fight. All right. So is that what it's coming down to? You come out here, Ashley Williams, right now. So me and you can have that talk. Well, Roman, you bitch about onlook all the time. You call yourself the kin leader, the head of the board, the world heavyweight winner, but you're not and you're not you're not my kin leader. You're not anyone's kin leader. You're not anyone's head of anyone's board. And uh you keep bitching about onlook, but the way you behave, no one's gonna give you onlook. Yeah, you wanna know how I beat Jey Uso? I'll tell you how I beat Jey Uso by giving him the stunner. I also gave your outstanding first Fane a stunner too. And when it's all said and done, Roman Reigns, I'll give you the stunner as well. Yeah, I'm the matchmaker again. All right? If the other side of fight, I beat Jey Uso, so that means me and you are going to meet 
for the world heavyweight winnings. So, you're going to shame me? I mean, you're like everyone else I had dealings with. I mean, I just got done beating Daniel Bryan. Now I got to deal with your shit. Actually, Williams, Roman Reigns knows and on looks you for all the things you did in Evil Dead and what so. Oh, and so. But at the end of the day, you are fighting Roman Reigns, the kin leader, the head of the board, the world heavyweight winner, the king, the Kaiser. No way you're going to win. Paul, if I won, if I beat Jay Uso, all right, then I'm sure I can beat Roman Reigns. You see, Roman Reigns isn't some unstoppable, unbeatable, unhandable living be uh, living being. You know, I know you like to sell, you like to build, like to craft all your sellers up to be unbeatable, unstoppable men. But at the end of the day, they all get beat. So, you are the one who got Roman Reigns behaving the way it is. And I know, Roman, you like to work the bullshit and tell everyone that this is what world heavyweight winners do, right? Sure. Is that true, then, Roman? Because let's be earnest about it. If that's what World Heavyweight Winners do, and the World Heavyweight Winnings only gone back to 2001 YL of Hulk Hogan. So, I guess everyone who won it up to you, they weren't doing the kin leader, the head of the board, you know, the king, the Kaiser way, right? That's your way. Um, I'm not frightened of you, Roman. I never will be. Yeah, you did beat a lot of wrestlers, but you didn't beat everyone there was. Our match is still on. Jay, teach him some on look. Oh, and once again, Jay Uso. Oh, got stunned again by Ashley Williams. Come on. You want to go, Roman? You want to go? Who are you going to throw at me next, Roman Reigns? You going to throw out your outstanding first fane who hasn't really won a wrestling fight in his whole in his whole hasn't hasn't wrestled in his whole life? You going to throw him out at me next? Do I give Pauly dangerously a stunner too? Well, Michael Cole said Ashley Williams standing up to uh, Roman Reigns. Once again, he's the matchmaker to TWF again. And standing up to Roman Reigns and Paulie Dangerously and Jey Uso here on Friday Night SmackDown. Do you think, do you like his seek of being the world heavyweight winner? No, I do not like his seek for being the world heavyweight winner. At the end of the day, I don't think he's going to do very well, Corey Graves says. You know, at the end of the day, Ashley Williams becoming the matchmaker again, it's going to be short-lived. I mean, there was Kurt Angle, then there was Steve Austin, now they're back to Ashley Williams again. So, it might be short-lived. Only instead of the NWO, or Randy Orton, or Bray Wyatt, or I don't, I don't know, Brock Lesnar, or whoever, that uh, Ashley Williams had hangouts with before that, Roman Reigns is going to actually make his time as the uh, matchmaker a short-lived uh, uh, thing. And Corey Graves says, well, what I think, A. A. Lois says, I truly believe at the end of the day, E. Lois says, and it's just me talking, I believe, or my thought and take, is that Ashley Williams will be the new world heavyweight winner that he will win the world heavyweight winnings at the end of the day he will do all that you know i got belief that ashley will ashley williams will do it well me too michael cole said 
I truly believe that Ashley Williams will be that man to be the rural heavyweight winner. And before we go, we have Renee Young is now going to be talking with Ashley Williams here. All right, Ashley Williams, you were named as matchmaker once again this week. And so far, you have already had a you already had your hang up with uh, Roman Reigns. Yes, I already had my hang up of Roman Reigns, Renee Young. You know, Roman Reigns has been running around for some time telling everyone he's the kin leader, he's the head of board, he's the king, he's a Kaiser, whatever. All the stuff I said about him last time I spoke is true. He can say whatever the fuck he wants. He can believe whatever he wants. But at the end of the day, I am going to be the one who takes the world heavyweight winnings away from him. And if, if, that, and if, and if Daniel Bryan wonders if he's going to be fighting Roman Reigns again, I have already set up a return, already, already set up, a return fight between Roman between Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns. So whoever wins between Roman Reigns and myself will meet Daniel Bryan. So either way, it's been taken care of. And if there's anything we got to say, uh, anything else I got to say, well, you stood up to Roman Reigns, and a lot of folks aren't bold enough to do that. Yeah, there have been a lot of folks who stood up to Roman Reigns over the past last year and this year. And yes, each one of them has fallen. Roman Reigns has overtaken them and beat them. But he hasn't beaten me yet. You know? And at the end of the day, Roman Reigns can bullshit all he wants. But he's not my kin leader. He's not my head to board. He's not my king or my kaiser. But he is the world heavyweight winner. I will give him that. But the way he's been behaving is fucked up. Well, that was my talk with, uh, that's my talk with Ashley Williams. Back to you, Michael Cole. Well, it looks like it is all the time we got here for TWF Friday Night Smackdown. I'm Michael Cole, for E. Lois and Corey Graves. We hope you like Friday Night Smackdown, and we'll see you tomorrow for main event or main show.